When Abraham was old and his son Isaac was grown, Abraham wanted to find a wife for Isaac. Mm. He said to his servant, go to the land of my relatives and find a wife for my son. The servant agreed to go. He took with him 10 of Abraham's camels and all kinds of gifts. When he got to the land, he went to a well. It was evening and he knew the women from the town would soon come to the well to get water. The servant wanted to find the right wife for Isaac, so he prayed, God, help me find a wife for Isaac. I will ask a girl for a drink of water. If she is the one Isaac should marry, let her also give water to my camels. When the servant looked up, he saw Rebecca. Ooh. She was beautiful and had never been married. The servant asked her for a drink of water. Drink, she said. I will also give water to your camels. Abraham's servant watched Rebecca. When the camels had enough water, the servant gave Rebecca a gold ring and two bracelets. Whose daughter are you? He asked. Rebecca said, I am the daughter of Bethuel. The servant asked to stay at her father's house. Then the servant praised God for providing a wife for Isaac. Rebecca ran home and told her family what had happened. Rebecca's brother, Laban, invited Abraham's servant into their home. The family set a meal before the servant, but he did not want to eat. First, let me tell you why I am here, he said. The servant told them about Abraham and Isaac and how God showed him that Rebekah should be Isaac's wife. Rebekah's family believed that God wanted Rebekah to be Isaac's wife. The servant brought out gifts for Rebekah and her family. The next day, Rebekah went with Abraham's servant to the land of Canaan. In the evening, Isaac was walking in the field when he saw the camels coming. Mm -hmm. Rebekah got down from her camel and covered herself with her veil. The servant told Isaac everything that had happened. Isaac married Rebekah and loved her. God provided Rebekah as a wife for Isaac is part of his covenant to bless the whole world through Abraham's family. One day, Jesus would be born into Abraham's family as the promised savior. <laughs>